Now, speaking of REST API, let's zoom into the northbound API component and let me give you a glimpse into how REST API works. So if you were to take an SDN controller and look into the northbound API, let's assume in this example, I designed an application called Nodge App. And the whole purpose in life of this application is to pick a router within our network. And on that router, we can go ahead and pull information about all the active and currently operational interfaces on that router and all the configuration associated with each of those interfaces. So what we would do is in this app, the first step would be, I would send HTTP get URI request to the SDN controller. Now, before I go any further, let me first explain the HTTP verbs I was telling you about. So here are the four HTTP verbs that are used by the REST API. Post, get, put, and delete. HTTP post means to create a URI. And URI stands for Uniform Resource Identifier. It's a fancy term for an object. So basically, HTTP POST means create an object. HTTP GET means read an object. HTTP PUT means to update an object. And HTTP DELETE means to delete an object. Now, as you can see, back to my example here, step one is HTTP GET URI. So I'm saying, go to router one in my data center and pull all the interfaces that are live and all the configuration associated with those interfaces. So this get is basically a read request for that object. SDN controller is then going to go talk to that network device that's attached to the southbound direction. Then once it reads and gets that information, it's going to come back to my application with the HTTP get response in a JSON data format. Now, JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It's a very popular type of human readable format that is also very well adopted on a global scale today. And it basically extracts that interface configuration in such a way that it becomes human readable. And ultimately, my application will then display the results of my initial request on a web page, and it could be in an XML format. And XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. It's a web-friendly language. So once again, the whole idea of the REST API is to facilitate the automation of network programmability. Ultimately, at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is we're abstracting all the complexity away. Instead of having to memorize every single CLI command in our routers and switches and firewalls, instead, we want to use a standards-based approach whereby using HTTP, we can define our request in a human-readable format, and the SDN controller then goes ahead and translates our intent from a human readable format into a machine readable format, like the CLI commands, for example, and then parses all that data and returns the data back to us in a human readable format again, so we can read what we initially requested based on that request. Now, here I'm showing an example of reading, but you get the idea. It doesn't have to be just a reading function. I could create interfaces like a loopback interface, or I can delete a loopback interface, or I can update the interface with a new IP address or an ACL or whatever have you, but you get the idea. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.